Okay, so today's video was originally going to be an Amazon haul video, and that video is actually gonna be next week. And this dress was gonna be in that video. However, I just feel like this dress deserves a video of its own because it is that cool. And I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. It's considered a convertible dress. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And basically, whatever you decide to do with these infinity straps on this dress is kind of the style or the look that you can create with this dress. Anyway, the best word to describe this dress, I think, is ethereal. I just feel like it's so feminine and dainty and um, almost heavenly, you know? I feel like whenever you put it on, if you decide to purchase this dress and you put it on, you will literally feel like you are channeling your inner <laughs> goddess or something like that. But anyway, um, so I'm going to put it on in a minute and I'm gonna show you all the different ways that I've come up with to convert it and to create, you know, different looks and a different style. Anyway, I bought it for $19.99 on Amazon. It comes in like 30 different shades all the solid colors and then a bunch of like ombre colors where it's kind of lighter towards the top and then, you know, gets darker toward the bottom. I <laughs> decided to purchase the brown, you know, out of all of the colors to choose from, I went with the brown because I have a certain idea of where I want to, to wear this dress. Now, um, the cool thing about this is that you can either dress it up or down and basically that all comes down to, you know, your hairstyle, your jewelry, and then, you know, your shoes. So you can definitely dress this up and wear it to like um, a banquet or a cocktail party or even a wedding, or you can really dress it down and wear the straps a certain way so that you can wear it to like the beach or a pool party. So anyway, um, you can tell that this dress just kind of has a really slinky feel to it. Like it just kind of lays on your body whenever you put it on. And it's made out of 65% cotton and then 35% polyester. I did read that with the lighter shades that um, you may, you know, you need to be careful because they it might be see-through, you know, in the sunlight. I do also want to mention that you cannot wear a bra with it. So you will definitely probably either want to wear pasties, but I just wear these and this is what I'm going to be wearing under this dress in this video so that you can see what they look like. You know, unless you don't mind, you know, um, people being able to tell when you're cold, <laughs> then just go ahead and wear it with nothing. But me personally, I'm definitely going to wear something to cover up, you know, that area. So also, I do want to mention that you know, it has these seams right here that seem to go right on the shoulder. So you can either wear this dress, you know, like this and have kind of like an empire waist, or you can actually drop the waist. And that's also going to determine whether you go with a more fancy look or, you know, a more casual look. Now, I do want to mention that I don't like these seams. I don't, I don't like where they put them because they're right there. And there are certain ways to convert this dress where I feel like th those seams kind of ruin it. So I have purchased, I've cheated just a little bit, and I have purchased a couple things in order to kind of camouflage that and hide, hide those seams. And one of them is these, and these I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. And these are just kind of like, I bought them in the fabric section, and they're, they're belt buckles, I think. And, um, you know, I just put the fabric through there, so you only see the rings, and I feel like it just kind of dresses it up a little bit, but it, it just makes it look really pretty, and it just hides those seams, because I don't like those seams. Another thing that I bought were these D-rings, and I'll show you how I use them. I use them when I want it to come up in the neck right here, and then strap around. Because again, I don't like some of the ways that they converted the dress, and those seams seem to kind of make it look a little bit sloppy or something like that, because sometimes they don't come together at the same spot. So anyway, I'll show you how I do it. Now, I do want to mention, you know, it has this elastic um, kind of waistband right here, and it's supposed to go up here or down lower. And obviously that does not look very nice. However, you never see it because these straps are always covering it and giving it kind of a bandage look. So it ends up looking really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this dress on. I'm gonna show you the ways that I have chosen to wear this dress. Uh, you know, on the website or on Amazon's website, there's so many different sellers that sell this dress. But I think this one was the lowest price that I found and it shows you different ways that you can wear the dress and different ways to tie it and stuff and some of them just look so silly so i'm just going to show you the ways that you know i prefer to wear this dress so let's go ahead and jump in okay so this is the first way to convert it and as you can see this is like the most simple way i think to convert it and all i did was take those straps and i just crisscrossed them in the back and you can also make these as wide and as flat as you want 
You can actually make them a lot wider and flatter in the back too. I don't have anybody here to do that for me right now. Otherwise I would, because I wanted it to be really flat and straight across. But anyways, that's just the first really, really simple, cute way to wear this. Again, you can also, let me show you. You can also drop the waist a bit like this. And as you can see, I feel like when you drop the waist, it kind of gives it more of a casual, like, beachy vibe, you know? You can throw on some strappy, you know, lace-up sandals or something like that and totally wear this to the beach, take off the jewelry, you know? But anyway, so this is, this is just one way to wear this dress. Okay, so this next way to style it is not really a style that I could probably ever see myself wearing. But basically, you're just going to fold it over once, just like that, towards your neck. And then do the other side just the same. And, you know, that seam is going to be right up there on the top. And then you just pull this straight down and you start to wrap it. Now with this conversion, you have basically created what looks like little sleeves. And, you know, I just did it really fast, but, you know, if you take your time, you can make it look really nice. And this is something that I think... This is a way that you can convert this dress that would be look really nice to a um, to like a cocktail party or something like that. Actually, this looks so pretty, doesn't it? And like I said, doesn't it seem, doesn't the word ethereal just come to mind? Just delicate and feminine. So anyway, this one just creates a totally open back like this. There's something very, you know, feminine and sexy about that, right? So... So anyway, this is just another way to convert and style this dress. With the right jewelry, can you imagine having a really beautiful necklace and, and just nice, you know, you could put on nice heels and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother with shoes right now. I actually like it just barefoot. And I've got my toenails the same color as the dress, the same color as my fingers. And so anyway, so this is just another way to convert this dress. Okay, so for this one, I actually put the rings on because the seams end up hitting me right there and I just don't like the way that it looks. So I feel like these rings just perfectly camouflage it. It's kind of like a little accessory, right? So anyway, then what I did is I twisted the back. So just completely twisted it around itself and then came down here. So in the front right here, I just basically crossed it over itself and then pulled it back like this. And, and it goes, you know, it's another, you know, unique little way of um, strapping this dress. Very cute, right? And then of course, like I said, you can, you know, adjust it so that you're hiding that elastic waistband. So this is just another way of styling this dress. You know, obviously these did not come with it, like I said, so, you know, I purchased them for like $1.50 or maybe $2 in the fabric section at Hobby Lobby. And it just kind of, you know, adds a little, almost like, you know, some hardware to this dress. So anyway, that's just another cute way of wearing it. Okay, so this is another way that this dress can be worn, and this is where I used the D-rings because they are flat on one side and then rounded on the other, so I, you know, uh, just kind of strung both straps through them. I put four there, and it just kind of, you know, again, just adds a little bit of hardware to the dress, but um, the way that they have it, like, on the Amazon site is they tied it right there. But I felt like it looked really sloppy, and I just didn't like, whenever I tried it, it just didn't go well. And then, of course, you've got those seams. Now, I'm not camouflaging the seams, but because it's so scrunched up, I feel like that scrunching kind of camouflages it anyway. But when I would try to tie it, it's like the seam would show on one side and not the other. Anyway, it just didn't look good. So anyway, this is just the way that I decided to do it. And then I just crisscrossed it in the back, just like that. Okay, so all I did here was I took everything over to one shoulder so that it's kind of like a one shoulder look. Now I am going to show you this without using the D-rings. I've got a mirror behind the camera, by the way. So this is all I did, and then I just kept it really, really simple in the back. So everything is kind of, um, what do you call it? There's no symmetry, not in the front or the back, you know what I mean? So I just think this is really unique and just such a really pretty, you know, way to wear this dress. So now I'm going to show you a different way to do it without the D-rings. Okay, so here's how you can do kind of the one shoulder effect without the D-rings. 
However, I just feel like it looks a little sloppier, and I don't know if you can see from there, but I know if I get too close, it's gonna blur. The seam is right there, and then the other one is like way back here. And I just don't, I feel like that looks kind of sloppy or just tacky or something. So I just kind of prefer the D-rings. Now, I don't know if anybody's gonna be looking close enough, you know, at you to be like, uh, why do I see a seam there, you know what I mean? So anyway, this is just another way. And then I just kind of twisted it in the back like this. And again, it's gonna be asymmetrical, but I think it's still a really cute way of wearing it. And you know what? I forgot to show you like the most simple way to wear it too. I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, so this right here is just the simplest way to wear it. And I just twisted it right here and then twisted it in the back like that. And then I just put on this very casual um, necklace. I picked this up at a gift shop on the island here in Corpus. And, um, and now, you know, I can go to the beach, you know, simple earrings. Cute little, I should, if I had some shell earrings, I would totally put those on right now because that would look so cute. But anyway, so, and then, you know, you could just go to the beach. I actually wish they sold this in like a short version. Wouldn't that be so cute? So anyway. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'm going to put information in my description box below this video. Um, obviously, a link to this dress. I got it on Amazon, again, for $19.99. It was basically like buying five dresses for $19.99. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you have a fabulous week, and don't forget to like this video, if you liked it, of course, and then don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you next week.